The afternoon was ripening, and soon we would be back at the magnificent Five Rivers Lodge in the town of Dillon. But Mike and Dave had one more stop to make along the way. It was another spring creek, even narrower than the one we'd just left. And within a few minutes, Dave set himself and cast upstream to what he contended was a feeding trout. I was skeptical, believing as we watched the number 10 hopper float back toward us as though it were passing through the eye of a needle that nothing of any real size could possibly live in such a trickle. Enter Beowulf. That brown was huge. So big, it barely had room to turn around, like Sonny Liston in the men's room. And I stood there amazed at what was happening and promising myself that I would never again doubt another man's fish story, at least not one of Dave's. I also vowed that Spring Cricks had not seen the last of me. Boy, what a big, big fish. fish. Oh, man, in this little stream. <laughs> yeah. Get that net on if you can. There we yeah. go. Oh, okay. Nice Look at that. Oh, man, he managed to grab everything in there. He, just, he knew every little spot in there, you know. But look at this. Nice. Dave, oh. hey, I'm going to make your picture with this now, fish. There's, so. a, there's a fish that's too big for my net. I'll agree with that. <laughs> Darn gonna, near. Uh, OK, give me a little shot on that. I'm going to make a picture of this, guys. All right, OK. Make me you look want, pretty. If I want to just hold him here for a minute and get it focused so we don't have to hold him focused, up. I'm focused, I'm ready. You just right. lift him up. Hey, look let's that. go. <laughs> He's a big old pretty thing. Boy, he went under everything in there. Man, he's holding still, too. Watch him. Then I'll get this thing. I'll lift this one up. Oh, that's one oh, line I don't mind fish. getting my elbow wet for. There he goes. Look at him, he's just holding me. You saw the way he slurped that down, you know? At the medium rare to rare steak. We're gonna eat that one. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dave, that's the way I like to end the day with a rare steak, and that's the way we end the day yeah. today. It's been a rare day. Thanks, Mike. You got it. Thank you, Dave. Hey, we did it. That's the flip. Wow. Mr. Mike, thank you. You put us right here, Thanks. man. Thanks. Great little place. Yep. No day of fishing anywhere in the world had ever been better, at least not for me. And as I sat on the broad porch of the Five Rivers Lodge and noted as much in my chronicle, Dave sat beside me, recreating the day in his own brilliant way. Dave Whitlock is an artist not only with the fly rod, but neither picture nor word would adequately replicate what we had seen on that September day at the tail end of the fishing season, when Beowulf rang our bell. No day of fishing anywhere in the world had ever been better. Just like you showed me, Dave. Yeah. Sitting on the deck of the Five Rivers Lodge with Montana's majestic mountains in the background, I thought how lucky I was. Then I realized that you too can come to this amazing spot and enjoy world-class trout fishing, gourmet food, and spectacular scenery, unlike any I'd ever seen. Five Rivers Lodge, open year-round in Dillon, Montana.